Hey guys, it's Tom, CellPhoneTrek.com. Today, we have the MyTouch 3G 1.2 version. Basically what that means is now it has a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. It has the eight gig micro SD card preloaded on here. Uh, it's already pre-installed. Uh, the original version came with a four gigabyte micro SD card. Now it comes with an eight and the RAM has been upgraded from 192 to um, 256, 288, somewhere in that range, obviously. Um, I've read different reports. Um, here's the phone, as you can see, standard. There's the new 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Um, the Fender edition of this phone ended up getting the 3.5 millimeter headset jack forehand. However, that edition, much more expensive than this. This is about $50 more than the original MyTouch. Um, still running the same version of Android on here. It uh, still has all the same applications, uh, but you can see that it just little, it's much faster than the original. I'll go ahead and just open some things up here. You know, we've, go ahead, uh, open up Google Maps forehand it was a little little slow a little laggy but it's much much quicker than before but I don't want you guys to know where I'm at so hi, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go home and I'm home there you go you have no idea where I'm at um, still have the Android market still have you know Google Maps still have a nice browser on here there's really not much difference to this other than, like I said, the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. You have the expanded RAM. You have the expanded micro SD card that comes with it. And that's, that's still a 3.2 millimeter camera. Still the defining chin to the phone. Still the trackball. Still the same hard keys. You know, still no, no QWERTY keyboard. The, the only difference is, is now they finally went ahead bumped it up to 3.5 3 and they expanded the memory. Honestly, should you buy this phone if you already have the MyTouch? No, you shouldn't. This, this is, it's a good phone. It's just a little quicker, but it's not worth it. If they threw, if they threw 500 meg processor in here, yeah, you know, do that. If they went up to 500 megs of RAM, possibly, but for what version of Android this is running, for the small 3.2 megapixel camera, it's not really worth it if you already own the original. If you don't own it, let's say you're going from a feature phone to your brand new smartphone, this is a great phone for you. You need to get this phone. That's, that's all there is to it. It's, you know, it's a great beginner Android, beginner smart phone, test screen, I have to shell out, you know, a couple hundred bucks for an iPhone or um, some other HTC products now, however they are, they're for the more, not the novice. This phone is good, novice, beginner phone. Not, not to say that because you have it, you are a novice, you just may like it. I'm not trying to discriminate against anybody, so. That's, just want to give you guys an update from the original MyTouch 3G to now the MyTouch 3G. 1.2 kit. So, this has been Tom from Cell Phone Trek. Click, rate, and subscribe. You could possibly enter yourself in to win um, our free weekly giveaway. We also are now giving away at the end of every month, starting April, we are giving away a phone. It is a phone that we've recently reviewed. Go to facebook.com backspace cell phone trek. Become a fan like things, comment on things there, and from one of the people that are there, we're gonna go ahead and pick a monthly winner for a phone. You know, we're gonna have multiple phones, so don't worry about carrier issues. If you're CDMA, if you're GSM, don't worry about it, we got you covered. This has been Tom from Cell Phone Trek. Thanks, have a great day.